Our next speaker is a member of the Motivational Speakers Hall of Fame. He's a New York Times and Wall Street Journal best-selling author with over 23 books published. He was named one of the top 50 speakers in the world. He's named the, uh, the top 100 leadership speakers by Inc. Magazine. He was named one of the top 10 sales speakers by Success Magazine. He was uh, worked with and mentored by John Maxwell, Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn. He's co-founder of ROI Expert Advisors, which I hope he shares with us today. Help me welcome to the stage. Oh, and he's married to Denise, and he's an EXP agent from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Help me welcome Chris Widener to the stage, everybody. Chris Widener. Here he comes. Go get him. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. With that kind of a, an introduction, i got to ask a question. How many of you have never heard of me before? God, I thought I was more famous than that. All right, well, we got about 15 minutes. I want to talk to you about a, a one very powerful thing that will drive your life, drive your career, drive your agent attraction, and really improve your life. And by the way, I have to say, I'm not the EXP agent. My lovely wife, Denise, is the EXP agent. In fact, we found out about EXP about three years ago. I've been a columnist for Success Magazine for years. Uh, I worked closely for seven years with Jim Rohn, and then Success Magazine and Jim Rohn International and Chris Widener International were all bought the same year by a company called Video Plus. And about three years ago, I called the former owner, and I said, I had some questions, and I called him up, and I was going to ask him a question. He said, I don't own it anymore. I sold it. I'm like, well, who'd you sell it to? I sold it to a guy named Glenn Sanford, EXP Realty. I'd never heard of it. So he goes, you might know Don Hobbs, because Don's been in the personal development world for a long time. And, and uh, you know, Don Hobbs and Tony Robbins got their start together knocking on doors at 17 and 18 years old selling Jim Rohn seminars. So I called Don Hobbs up, and I'm like, hey, you know, what's going on with success and all this? And then he tells me about EXP. And my wife says, well, that sounds amazing, because she was a realtor. We were living in Scottsdale, Arizona. That's how we ended up in EXP. So... How do you end up with that kind of resume? How do you end up with 23 books and New York Times bestseller and 2,500 speeches all over the world and all those kinds of things? I'll tell you how. You start out with your dad dying at age four. You start out with a mom who had borderline personality disorder and beat you to within an inch of your life repeatedly. Anything long and flexible, I've been beaten with it. How do you get started? You start out by living in 28 homes and going to 11 different schools. You start out by starting drugs in the sixth grade, smoking opium for the first time in the eighth grade, being shipped off to live with relatives twice, once in the fourth grade, once in the ninth grade. You start out by making most of your money growing up betting the horses at Long Acres Horse Track. Are you getting a picture here that the beginning of my life was not really that great? You start out with 47 written referrals to the principal's office in the 10th grade. That's how you start out. But then eventually you come to a decision point in your life. You come to the place where you, you have to say, okay, I'm going to keep going this way or am I going to make a decision and go another way? And then you have to grasp on to one thing that I want to talk to you about for the balance of our time, and it's optimism. It's optimism because if you're ever going to leave where you are and get to where you want to go, you must first and foremost believe that you can do it. When you're attracting agents, when you're building your team, you must lend that belief and lend that optimism to them. Because we've talked a lot about attraction today. We talked a lot about the law of attraction. You know what the law of attraction is? People follow you when you speak. The last thousand speeches that I've given all over the world have been on a book I wrote called The Art of Influence. Influence is the ability to change another person's thoughts, beliefs, and actions and to move them forward. How would your real estate business grow if you could change other people's thoughts, beliefs, and actions? Optimism is attractive. People want to hang around with, be with, work with optimistic people because you're going to take them to a place that's better than where they are today. For example, somebody comes to you and they say, you know, I've been hearing about the CXP thing, and I'm kind of excited about it, and I'd like to, th you know, I'd like to think that I could be successful about it, and I, I, you know, do you really think that if I joined you in EXP that I could make more money and build rev share and, and get some stock and all those kinds of things? If you look at them and go, eh, probably not. 
They're not going to join your team. They're going to join a team and they say, absolutely, and I'll be with you every step of the way, all along the way. Yes, I believe you can do it. And I'm telling you, optimism now is more important, I believe, than any time in our lives. We have real trouble in the world today. I ran for the United States Senate in 2010. I was a primary candidate in the state of Washington. Um, we had $9 trillion in national debt in 2010. We have $32 trillion in national debt. Inflation is, is growing out of control. We have prices skyrocketing. Houses are slowing down in terms of sales. All sorts of things. But do you know who succeeds in negative times? Optimistic people. There were people that got wealthy during the Great Depression. Why? Because they didn't let their circumstances determine what their results were going to be. So there's going to be a lot of agents all across America saying, well, life's too tough and it's too hard and I can't do it and all oh, the market and the economy and inflation and interest rates and all these kinds of things. But there will be people who will grow their business this year, 2023, even facing the most negative circumstances that many of you have ever seen in your real estate career. You will grow your business. There are people in this room right now that have under 100 agents on their team. How many of you have under 100 agents on your team? The vast majority of you have under. Two years from now, you will come back with more than 500 agents. Any single one of you could do it, but only some of you will do it because some of you say, oh, it's too hard and I can't do it and life's too tough. And others will say, I don't care what it takes me to do. I'm going to get out there and I'm going to do it. Now, when I do my longer seminars, I normally, normally unwrap a lot of different things, but I want to talk to you about one specific thing that you can begin to do the minute you walk out that door. The minute you walk out that door, you can begin to speak differently. Now, you might say, what does this have to do with optimism? The tongue has the power of life and death. You ever heard that, uh, you ever heard that Bible verse? The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit the Bible says. You want the fruit of new agents? You want the fruit of better relationships? You want the fruit of more money? Speak, because the tongue has the power of life and death. And this is just from your very cursory conversations to your lower, deeper conversations. You ever notice you go up to somebody and say, hey, how you doing? Somebody goes, well, pretty good under the circumstances. <laughs> Nobody wants to get on your team if you are under the circumstances. Nobody says, oh, you're under the circumstances? Can I come in under there with you? No. They say, let's get out of here. He's under the circumstances. I want to find somebody who will go through the circumstances, over the circumstances, around the circumstances, because I want to get to the place where I want to go, and you can lead them there. Some of you, you say, most people say, oh, I'm an optimist. But then you listen to them and all they're like, oh, the weather is horrible out there. I don't care what the weather is. The weather doesn't determine what my life is going to be like tomorrow. We have a friend. We used to live in Scottsdale. Every day during the summer, she would post. She'd screenshot the weather and post it. It's like 180 degrees in Scottsdale in the summer. She's like, another day. <laughs> You live in Scottsdale. It's always 130 in July. You've lived here for 30 years. Quit talking about it. Don't be Debbie Downer. You know, Zig Ziglar, who I had a television show with called True Performance, people say, how long ago was that? 40 pounds ago. That's how long ago that was. <laughs> and um, he, always, he always says, you know, you can brighten a room when you come in. You know those people, they walk in, they're like, Susie's here. Susie, come on over here. And the whole room just sort of lights up. There are people like that. Do you know that you can brighten a room when you walk in? Or you can brighten a room when you walk out. <laughs> Some of y'all, and I moved to Chattanooga, Denise and I moved to Chattanooga about a year ago. Some of y'all brighten a room when you walk out. You want to be the one that brightens the room when you walk in. Do you know that you can change another person's internal physiology with a word? You can make their brain produce 
chemicals that will change their mood with a single word. Words are weird. Words are just air. When I'm talking to you, it starts here. It comes across my larynx, my tongue, and my lips form it, shoots it out. It drifts through. It goes through the speakers. It hits your ear, and it makes you feel something. I say some things, and you laugh. I say other things, and you go, mm-hmm, because I'm changing the internal physiology of you. I'll give you proof. Guys, you come home one day. Your wife has beat you home. You walk in. You put your briefcase down. There she is, and you notice she's been to the hairstylist that day. And you look at her, and you go, what happened to your hair? (laughs) Now, she is not going to say, huh, my husband has just insulted me. It's time to release the angry chemicals. (laughs) It just happens, boys. It just happens. But isn't that amazing? You can change another person's. Now, guys, if you know what you're, if you know what you're doing, you've been to the seminar now. You walk in, you notice her hair has been done at the the hairstylist, it doesn't matter what it looks like. You go, wow. (laughs) Now, as God is my witness, and I can't really see her, but I know she's right there because I got lights. Denise, how many times a day do I look at you and go, wow, all the time? (laughs) Because I'm speaking life. I'm speaking life. So you come in and you go, you know what she's going to say? She's going to say, oh, yes, I did. I got my hair done. I got my nails done. I got my toes done. Guys, this is not where you go, how much did that cost us? Because that is a deal killer right there. <laughs> Women, I'm telling you, you can create. I believe this as much as I believe anything. In fact, Denise tells me I need to write a book about it. Women, you can create the man you want with your words. I truly believe that. Because you can tell your man something in a positive way or a negative way. You can lead your man in a positive way or a negative way. I'll give you an example. Maybe your man doesn't make enough money for your taste. You can say, well, I don't know why you don't make more money. Bob down the street makes more money. And that's when your husband goes, well, Bob down the street's single. Why don't you go marry him? But if you say, honey, I just love some of the gifts that you have. You have some amazing gifts. I think that you'd be a great entrepreneur. Have you ever given some thought? I mean, I'd be willing to help a little bit extra and stuff. If you ever thought that you might want to be an entrepreneur and go out and do something, I would fully support that. Both situations, you told him he needs to go out and do something and make more money, right? But one, you're speaking life, and the other, you're speaking death. The reality is, is that we have an opportunity as EXP leaders, as people growing teams, as you're doing, to speak life because you're going to have people who show up on your doorstep and you don't know what's going on in their life, divorce, sickness, children who've gone astray, bankruptcies, whatever it might be, and you get to be a source of life to them. By believing in them and speaking into them and driving that faith into them so that they're lifted up and then it replicates and then they're able to do it for other people. It is a tremendous opportunity. This idea that we get to be leaders, leaders of people, helping them create their businesses and create wealth for their families and send their children to private schools and to uh, help them send money to their charities, that's the way you create lasting impact. Little bit of impact is self. Lasting impact that lives beyond you and your life and your business, that comes from optimism, comes from breathing life into other people. Now, Brent asked me if I would talk a little bit about one of the things he mentioned, which was ROI expert advisors. My business partner is a guy named Chris Stegg. Denise and I are in business with a guy named Chris Stegg. Chris, there you are back there. He's six foot five from Austin, Texas. He has one of the 20 largest teams in EXP out uh, out of Austin, Texas. And we were talking one day and we were talking about uh, a company named BNI. Anybody ever heard of BNI? BNI, Business Network International. For seven years, I have tried to figure out a way to knock off BNI. Seven years, I'm like, there's got to be a better way to do BNI. And Chris and I were talking one day about six months ago, and I went, bam, we got it. We give it to real estate agents. 
We give this group to EXP agents. We train them, we teach them, we hand them the group. They never pay us a nickel for dues or any of those kinds of things, and we help them create their own. Do you know the hardest profession to get into a BNI group? Real estate. Do you know why? They never leave. You know why? They make the most money. I have a friend in Seattle, Washington, has averaged $600,000 a year in his BNI group. So here's what we do. We give this group to EXP agents. It's called ROI, not for return on investment, although there is one. R stands for real estate professionals. So we, we teach you how to go and get mortgage people, title people, surveyors, inspectors, those kinds of people. O, O stands for outside the home. Gutters, cement, landscapers, uh, all those kinds of people. And then I stands for inside the home. Electricians, plumbers, interior decorators. 33 professions that we have figured out that you could do referrals. Now, we launched this about four months ago. We're in about 25 cities. Our number one agent is a guy named Nick DeVito. Anybody know Nick? Nick's out of Chagrin Falls, Ohio. Anybody know where Chagrin Falls, Ohio is? That's my point. So, <laughs> within seven weeks, he had about 14 or 15 people on his, in his group, and they had done 27 referrals, making over $100,000 for the people in the group. So if you've ever said, I'd like to be in a BNI group, or you say, you know what, how am I going to create this? This is your marketplace advantage. This isn't about lead generation. This is about referral business. When you generate a lead, you have to try to convince them. Well, I've been in real estate for 14 years, and I sell this many houses, and I'll cut my commission. It's all about competing to get them to like you. When your friend says, oh, you're selling your house, you've got to call Bob. Bob's the best. You shouldn't sell your house with anybody but Bob. They call you up and they go, hey, my friend Tom told me you're the guy. Where do I sign the paperwork? Warm referrals are the number one way to build your business. In fact, uh, on the, I think it was the 1% call the other day, um, Brent was talking about, if you did 10 extra deals a year out of one of these ROI groups, at 2.5% of a million dollar house, it's $250,000 in extra income. Anybody could use $250,000 in extra income? If you do 20 houses, it's $500,000. 30 houses, $750,000. So we're here, we're enjoying the day, we sat by the pool, we want to get to know you, but if you have any questions, and we're going to have a booth out there uh, tomorrow with some some paperwork and all those kinds of things if you want to find out more about it. But if you want, you can go to ROI Expert Advisors, ROI Expert Advisors dot com forward slash Maui. And we charge for the training, but the training's three ninety seven, and we train you exactly how to build these groups. But here's the beauty. When you get ten people, we give you your training money back. You build a group with 10 people in it, you will never pay a nickel for anything. We make our money off the dues that the other people pay. But we are there to support you, to encourage you. We do training. We have a live weekly call that you can drop in for Q&A, uh, best practices with other people. But this is an amazing way to build your own income, but also to attract other agents. Hey, if you come into eXp, I'm going to turn you on to how you can build your own referral-making machine by putting together a bunch of professionals around you. I believe that you guys are going to have the best year of your life. One of the reasons I believe it is because you're already here. You're here. You reached out. You flew here. You paid the money. You're here because you believe. And it might be weak belief at this point. It might be, can I do it? Yes, you can do it. Talk to the people who are doing it. Fill yourself with people and surround yourself with people who are going to speak life into you whether it's your spouse, your children, your friends, your coworkers, other agents, whoever. Be a person who speaks life into the lives of other people. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it.